We're headed out to milk the cow this morning. But we've also got something else to do. I've got some a needle and a tube to draw some blood. We're gonna find out if Dolly, our Jersey milk cow, is pregnant. Dolly, calm down. Having a Jersey cow, we have to have her have a calf every year so we can continue to have milk. And we don't want to mess with a bull, so we have to artificially inseminate her. And we did that, and we are going to check today to see if she is pregnant. So we got a blood test. So there's three parts of this kit. We got this kit through Bioprin, and so basically they send us a 10 or 12 package kit to test a cow for pregnancy 10 or 12 times. And so there's basically this tube part, there's this needle part that'll screw in there, and so it'll be the needle and then the stick that'll go into the tube. And so then we'll stick the tube in there. Once we hit a vein, create suction, and we'll put some blood right in there. And then we'll send this blood off to get tested and then see if she's pregnant. You can't do it until she's past 28 days from her breeding date, and it's about 39 days right now. So we're in we're in the cleared as far as doing that. You can do this a number of ways. You can do a urine test, you can do a milk test. Those are much simpler, but they're far less accurate. And so there's a lot of people that have had false positives or false negatives from those tests. And so this is the most accurate way, also the most intimidating way for most people and for us too, because this is new to us to draw blood. So we'll see if we can figure this out and then we'll send this test off to get tested. Draw blood from behind her tail and it's very difficult because they have a strong tail. And I can't have her pulling it down on me. And as soon as we're done, then we can let the tail go. So there's a little triangular shape right here. And so right where it comes together right here is about where I want to stick, try to hit the vein. Now don't pull it out, just wiggle it around, if you can. Don't pull the needle out, you lose that section. gotten a little bit in there so far. We got, we hit it. Stripping. It's a miracle. <laughs> it's a miracle. It's dripping slow. I don't know if I fully got it, but this is gonna fill. This will fill the bottle. As long as she doesn't move. As long as she doesn't move. Drip, drip, drip. It's just getting a little couple little drips, but it's it's gonna slowly fill it up here. I think it's about halfway filled. I think I see it up here. I may have enough, but I think I need a little more. It's super close. It's super close. I just need to trip a couple more times, so I'm sure, because I don't know how much two cc's is. Oh my gosh, it's filling up. I think it's almost full. Oh my goodness. That was a challenge. <laughs> how many times did it take us? This is our third day trying it. We gave up after the first two days because we couldn't hit the vein and lost suction. Please be pregnant because I don't want to have to do this again. <laughs> what did you think? Is it scary? Mm -hmm. Is it fun? Is it exciting? It's scary. It is pretty scary. But do you like to watching Daddy work at the cow? Uh-huh. All right, we're back in the house and now I'm labeling my tube. 
to send it away to the lab. This is test number one and it's for Dolly. Next, we're gonna wrap this in some paper towels. So if the tube breaks when we send it, it absorbs all of the blood. And I'm gonna put that inside of a Ziploc bag. On the bag, we put this. We have a submission form. I need to bubble wrap this. And now that's ready to go into our priority mail package. And then we put on this sticker and then we're ready to go into the mail. We'll send it away to a lab in Kansas, just a state over from us. Hopefully we'll get the results. Let's see, we're in the middle of the week. So hopefully we'll get the results maybe early next week. Everything will be okay. Promise I will always wait for you to go and find your own way. This is our brooder shed. This is where we put all of our chicks. We've got our heat lamps. We've got some feed for all of our younger birds inside this shed, but it is in bad shape. A lot of this is rotted wood. Look at this right here, this hole. I mean, that is a hole into the shed. Down here, it's all open. And so usually at night, we'll throw boards like this over those gaps just so predators won't go under there because we'll keep chicks in there, things like that. And then the lock doesn't even reach the other side and so we've got to use this little thing we put in up here long overdue to put some new doors on here and I just made them last night so let's take these off and give our brooder shed a new look How's it coming? Good. You like painting? Uh-huh. You're doing a good job. Who's painting over here? I like painting over here. Good job. All the paint's all coming off here, so we're giving it a fresh coat. You're getting more paint on you than on the wall. <laughs> yeah, paint the wall. Good job. All right, our new improved brooder shed. Becky, what do you think of this place? Oh, it turned out really good. You've been wanting new doors on this thing for a while. They were a little holy. So what was it like before? We had plywood and bricks so that predators couldn't get in. So you'd have to come along and, and move the bricks and then move the plywood. You had at the top, we had a little, yeah, a little, a little bar to hold boys, it shut. The boys could never get in because they can't reach this high. But now you can just come along and open the door. Ah, like it should have been. So now we can have lots of airflow in here, but we can keep the door shut. And then at night we can close it up, keep it safe from predators. So Becky, we got the results from Dolly's pregnancy test. You excited to find out? Yeah. It took us a few weeks to a month to find a company that could come out and do the AI and then it took over a month to get the process to work as they had hoped. AI itself was kind of pricey up around $110 and then the pregnancy test, the kit was about $40. So we're about $150 into this so if it doesn't work we're gonna have to start all over. So I hope it works. So Becky are you nervous at all for the results? A little bit. Um, it's a long process. If she's not, we have to go through that whole process again. But I, I am pretty confident she is. I've been doing a good job of resisting opening the email. I saw the email and I really wanted to click on it just to tease myself with the answer, but I held off so we could find out together along with Dolly. Ready to bring Dolly in? Yep. All right, it's the moment of truth. We're gonna open up the email and find out the results. I got the screen recording so you'll see the results as she sees them. So Becky, tell me what you're about to do. I'm opening the results from the pregnancy test. I'm clicking on it. Now I'm going to read it. What's it say? 
pictures. Presence of pregnancy. falls in the open range of 99.9 .9 of animals are not pregnant in oh, what is this okay. OD pregnant she's pregnant <laughs> <laughs> Woo. thank goodness you double check that though yeah because it's like not it doesn't say like pregnant it just says all right so I just read the results of this and now it makes sense to me it says under this PSPB range it would either say open or pregnant and it says open and so it says 99.9% .9 .9 of animals are not pregnant if it says open that stinks so we got to start it all over again what do you think we should do I don't know should we do AI again? Should we get another cow? Maybe we should look around and see if we can find a cow. And see if we can get one that's already bred and... I don't know. You know how much we love Dolly. Some people don't know why would we sell Dolly. Why, why would we try to get a different cow than Dolly? Well, she produces enough milk for us, but it's only a gallon. And she's a little bit temperamental. <laughs> oh, God! We have to tie up her feet, and she's not very pleasant, but um, we she gets the job done. And but she is on the petite side, so she is awfully skinny. Don't know if she's real healthy. We tried to bring her back. I would love to try to find a grass-fed type of cow for milk. She is definitely you have to feed her grain. She gets too thin, so it would be really nice to find a grass bed. But that's a type of cow, so you have to find that breed. Mm -hmm. What do you think? So we could actually keep her. We could AI her again, so we could resell her or keep her, whatever. And then in the spring, we decide to get a different cow that's about to have a baby. We could actually avoid that downtime without milk. So we could get one that's about to calve in early spring and then decide what we want to do with Dolly, if we want to sell her. So we can still go through everything as normal. We don't have to sell Dolly right now just because we're unsure of what we want to do. So we could keep her through the winter, still have milk early spring if we decided we didn't want to dry Dolly off, get a different cow that'll calve or is already in milk, have milk all through the year. And then we could decide Dolly here, we'll sell her at that point if we need to. Sound like a deal? Sounds good. Okay. Here we go again.